this is how you do a low budget horror film. This one is called The Dead Room, a 2015 New Zealand production directed by Jason Stutter. And this one stars a very small cast, Jed Brophy, Jeremy Thomas and Laura Peterson. It actually plays a little bit like a play. It has a very small cast and is really set just in one location, this kind of abandoned house. And it focuses on these three supernatural investigators, two of which are scientists, one who is a psychic who is the girl. And they're basically investigating claims of supernatural activity in this kind of like uh, ominous looking house basically and as the film progresses uh, we un uncover basically what's happened and obviously the kind of the uh, phenomena kind of ramps up and we find out the terrifying truth about what happens so uh, i have to say i can thoroughly recommend this film this is a good low budget horror film i thoroughly enjoyed it if you like films like the conjuring you will love this film now, I do have a couple of nitpicks, and I'll kind of come on to the, uh, uh, the, 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 the positives again. Um, it is a low-budget film, so if you kind of want lots of different locales, then you ain't going to get it in this film, but it's not really a, a, a criticism as such. The only criticisms I, I really have are the... I, I feel it could have done with a few things at the beginning to kind of set up. Because it, when, you, when you literally start with a film, and these guys literally going into this house, and we don't really know why they're there or who the previous owners were and things like that so i felt like it could have had a few more scenes at the beginning of the film giving a little bit of setup about who the kind of the uh, these characters are there are a few plot points here that i didn't quite agree with uh, basically these three people as far as i can tell are working for the insurance company and i don't know if insurance companies are going to be sending a three-man team of supernatural investigators to their houses for multiple nights for some reason we're not really sure why the reasons were there so i felt like it could have been a little bit more clear and that kind of thing on a technical standpoint as well uh, the one thing I, I kind of will pick up on this film is the lighting it's not poorly lit and it's actually the opposite i feel this film was too well lit there's a scene here that happened most of the kind of the encounters happen of a night but the considering the men have this decrepit this knackered old kind of generator we see too much light we see too much light coming through the windows and things like that and there's uh, it's going to be from what we do see out the exterior a relatively kind of isolated house but there's just too much light sort of coming through the the windows and there's a few scenes in um darker placements you think where is this light source coming from there's a couple of scenes you know it when it comes towards the end of the film you're thinking, where are these light sources coming from? So there was a couple of issues in regards to the lighting. And if I had to kind of pick holes with any of the acting, I felt maybe the young girl, she wasn't bad, but I felt maybe she was the weaker out of the three, of the three leads here. But now on to the positives. Like I said, this was a very well-crafted low-budget film. And obviously when you, you're dealing with a low-budget, I feel that the best thing to do is not bite off more than you can chew. And this film does, not it does it so well. It kind of spends its money so well and creates a professional-looking, well-crafted, um, generally spooky film. Now, this is a bit more of an old-school ghost story. So this is not a flashy affair. So this is not a gory film. Um, but you know it is relies on kind of old school this is why i kind of compare it to the conjuring because it kind of reminds me of a low budget version of that really so i it, i kind of like i kind of like the spookiness i kind of like the slow build of it and i kind of like the the supernatural mystery the thing that i really liked about this is the way the characters are portrayed here now normally in these films you kind of get uh somewhat stereotypical characters and they'll kind of act in certain ways i like the professionalism displayed by the three kind of characters here I mean, these are guys that, you know, you have two older men. It was one kind of, well, one older guy, one kind of middle-aged guy, and one kind of young girl in her kind of mid-twenties, I guess. So you've got a, a very different kind of, like, spectrum of ages here. But they all seem to treat each other relatively professionally and kind of are quite courteous and stuff like that. Probably more like a realistic team. So I really like that because in a lot of films, you know, you'll get the kind of the arrogant one, you're going to get the, the, the know-it-all, the, the, the younger person's normally kind of bitchy or sullen or something like that. And there are a couple of, you know, there are a couple of moments where people get stressed and they kind of maybe stray into that territory a little bit. But for the most part, I actually really like the kind of the professionalism and the way these kind of people reacted with each other uh, because they do seem... Um, very kind of real and even when they kind of get frustrated with each other it never kind of goes over the top of it so i really kind of liked the uh the, the relationship between these guys 
And like I said, this is not a, a, a specifically an effects-driven film. There's kind of one external shot at the beginning of the film, which is clearly on a green screen, but I can kind of forgive that. Uh, but And as we go through the film, we see these kind of these ghostly goings on, and it's all kind of practical effects. There's not kind of the CGI stuff here. Um, and it's mostly kind of poltergeist type activity. However, uh, I have to say, I wasn't expecting the, kind of the last sort of 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes or so, when it kind of really changes gears and ramps up a little bit. Some people may be put off by that, I feel. I actually quite liked it because I kind of wasn't expecting it. I was more expecting kind of the kind of the uh, the quiet to go through, but it kind of does ramp up at the, the end. Um, so I did enjoy that. But I can see maybe some people would have preferred the kind of the, the pace of the story um, to sort of remain consistent. But I kind of liked it, to be honest with you. But overall, this was a damn good film. I really enjoyed this film. And I like, you know, good ghost stories. And I, and I you know, I watch a, kind of a lot of low-budget films. And a lot of the time, these, these people kind of make films. And they're just, they're just too ambitious for the budget that you have. And they cut corners and it ends up looking crap. And you just have a crappy film. This one, you know, fantastic effort. I have to say, really, really good. Definitely be looking out for more of these guys. I want to give this movie an 8.5 out of 10. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Go check out The Dead Room. Um, and thanks for watching. Bye for now.